the tech world has been set on fire. Overnight, one leak changed everything. And this time, it wasn't Apple, it wasn't NVIDIA, it was Intel. Yes, that Intel, the company that once defined computing, then fell from grace as rivals took over. But now, it's staging a comeback with a new chip that might just rewrite the rules of the entire PC industry. The Intel Core Ultra 9 X388H. If the leaks are real, this isn't just another processor. It's a statement that Intel is tired of losing. So what's inside this mysterious new chip that's making tech insiders lose their minds? According to the leaked data, the Ultra 9 X388H runs with 16 cores, 8 performance, 8 efficiency, and a boost clock reaching up to 5.8 GHz. That's desktop-level power inside a laptop. But the real shocker is what Intel buried deep inside, a dedicated NPU, or Neural Processing Unit. And not just a token feature. We're talking 60 trillion operations per second of AI processing power, built to handle everything from generative tasks to background automation, all locally, on your device. This means your laptop won't just be a workhorse anymore. It'll be an AI companion able to listen, predict, and act without relying on cloud servers or internet access. That's revolutionary. Think about how our computers work today. Every time you use AI, whether it's ChatGPT, Copilot, or Adobe Firefly, it's powered by massive cloud data centers. Those centers use expensive NVIDIA GPUs, chew through enormous energy, and make tech giants billions in subscription revenue. Intel's plan changes the entire game. By putting AI brains directly inside your laptop, it's decentralizing the future of artificial intelligence. Your machine could generate images, summarize research, or translate audio in real time without sending a single byte to the cloud. No lag, no privacy risk, no subscription. If Intel pulls this off, they won't just be competing with AMD or Apple. They'll be competing with OpenAI, Microsoft, and Google because suddenly your device won't need them. And that's exactly what makes this chip so important. It's not just another generation of silicon, it's a power shift. See, for the last decade, Intel's biggest problem wasn't performance, it was relevance. AMD's Ryzen chips beat them on price and efficiency. Apple's M series made Intel laptops look ancient. Qualcomm entered the PC space with fanless ARM designs that lasted all day on battery. And while all that was happening, Intel became the old guy in the room, the one that couldn't innovate fast enough. So when insiders say the Ultra 9 is a make-or-break moment, they mean it. Because this is the first time Intel isn't just catching up. It's trying to leap ahead. But beyond the benchmarks, there's something more symbolic about this launch. For years, we've been told that the future of AI lives in the cloud. Giant supercomputers, global data centers, and trillion parameter models. But Intel is betting that the next revolution will happen on your desk. The rise of the AI PC, a computer that doesn't just run AI, it lives with it. Imagine this, you're working on a report and your laptop's AI assistant quietly collects your sources, formats your citations, and prepares your slides before you even ask. You're editing a video, and it automatically cleans the audio, color grades the footage, and writes your captions in your brand voice. You're coding, and the system predicts your logic, flags security issues, and optimizes your functions in real time. No loading, no cloud delay, no subscription wall. That's not science fiction anymore. That's what the Ultra 9 X388H could unlock. But here's the catch. Intel has made promises before. We've heard about revolutions that turned out to be rebrands. We've seen delays, manufacturing setbacks, and PR spin. And in today's market, where Apple and AMD deliver results, hype alone won't cut it. If this chip fails to deliver, if it overheats, drains battery, or underperforms in real-world conditions, the backlash could be brutal. Consumers don't just want power. They want balance, efficiency, endurance, and reliability. Intel's challenge is to prove it can do all three and do it better than anyone else. But if it succeeds, the impact could be enormous. Because this isn't just a product launch, it's a pivot point. 
a chance for Intel to redefine itself not as a fading legacy brand, but as the company that brought AI to everyone's hands. It could reshape how businesses, creators, and even students use technology. It could end the monopoly of cloud-based AI. And it could spark a new wave of innovation where intelligence is local, fast, and personal. Imagine what that means for privacy. Your AI tools never sending data to a third-party server. Imagine what it means for cost. No paywalls, no monthly AI fees. Imagine what it means for accessibility. An AI-powered laptop that anyone can own, not just big corporations. That's the world Intel is promising with the Ultra 9 X388H. And make no mistake, every major company is watching closely. Apple is racing to embed more AI into its M5 chips. AMD is expanding its Ryzen AI line. Qualcomm is betting big on ARM dominance. And NVIDIA. Well, NVIDIA doesn't like competition. If Intel pulls this off, the balance of power in the tech industry could shift overnight. Because for the first time in years, Intel isn't chasing trends. It's trying to set one. The truth is this chip isn't just about speed or specs. It's about redemption. Intel was once the heartbeat of modern computing. Then the world moved on. Now it's fighting to prove it can still lead the next generation. Not through brute force, but through intelligence, adaptability, and bold engineering. The question is, will this be Intel's comeback moment or its last stand? We'll know soon enough. Because the AI PC revolution is here. And the first battle begins with one chip. The Intel Core. Ultra 9 X388H. It's not just faster, it's smarter. And it might just change everything.